Len Kiravo, seated at a tent, was the only young Ugandan panelist at the Transform Africa Summit, a gathering of over 3,000 delegates. It's a rare opportunity, honestly speaking, uh, to be a young person sitting on a panel with these very established and distinguished people. Um, but, but I think the youth have a story to tell. And if you do not engage them, if you do not ask them questions, if you do not include them in, in panels or sessions or you know, conferences like Transform Africa, then you will make decisions based on your own opinion. She is a technology enthusiast that graduated from the prestigious Carnegie Mellon University on a scholarship by the Rwandan government. Rwanda believed in me. They gave us um, scholarships. The Rwandan government gave all East Africans 50% scholarships. That is a government that believes in you. That's a government that, that is trying to empower young people to step up, to raise young leaders. Rwanda's President Paul Kagame, while speaking at the Heads of State's conference yesterday, decried the lack of investment into young people. You know, you find uh, young, talented Africans are doing uh, a lot of good work outside of this continent uh, and in fact helping deliver on some of the uh, promises in, in those other countries. You must invest in people. You must enhance digital literacy levels. You must support young talent. That's why back home, as you've been hearing us, our emphasis is innovation, innovation. Don't only invest in infrastructure, but also invest in young people. It's not enough just to have policies, right? It's not enough just to, you know, um, build hubs. It's not enough just to have, um, just to have money or budgets allocated. You need, you need to go and find out, are they working? Leaders today close the three-day summit that was seeking smart solutions for smart cities. Young people like Lynn, who attended the summit, are optimistic about the future. The future is fast coming. It's coming very quickly. And if we do not rise up, if we do not start, you know, taking on such audacious courses, then when the future comes, we will not be ready. And then again, we'll be left behind. Raymond Mujuni, NTV.